If you do, then you come to the right place because I have those thoughts all the time. And today, we're going to find out what will happen if we put Luffy, the future king of the pirates, and Venom, Spider-Man's nemesis, together in a fight. Let's find out right now. Onto the pencil sketch. Uh, to design a action scene, especially a battle scene, the character's poses, uh, postures are very important. Because if you don't convey the uh, postures right, there will be there will be a lack of intensity in your action scene or in your battle scene. So in this case, uh, I had Luffy doing the. Uh, everyone has a kind of an extreme pose. Luffy's about to punch the heck out of Venom, while Venom is about to grab the heck out of Luffy. And also, there is a, a kind of a 3D aspect to this uh, particular piece because uh, Venom sort of in the foreground and Luffy's one layer below in the midground, and then in the background we have the spider webs. That way, it just makes it look a little more real and adds a little bit more feel to this uh, piece. Also, the viewpoint is very important too. You don't want to look too overly flat. So, uh, Luffy's uh, uh, both of these characters are slightly turned not just uh, facing towards the camera or having their backs turned to the camera or uh, reader's point of view I should say they are turned at an angle and if it's at an angle then it just makes it look a little more exciting for some reason and the flames too the flames gives it that extra punch to make it feel more exciting it's all about making your action scene exciting because without excitement what kind of action scene is it? now on to the inking uh, like usual, the outline is done with a 0.5 which is a thicker pen and the smaller details I believe was done with a 0.1 and erasing all the pencil marks and then adding in additional details to make the ink work look impressive as you would say with a 0.05. Now adding highlights for Venom was kind of challenging for me, so what I'm doing is using a gray marker to plot out all the areas of highlight on his body. To uh, The reason for highlight is to show, um, let's say, his muscle anatomy, to show how muscular Venom is. I really like drawing muscular characters. And also, even if it's a pitch black object, there will always be a highlight on it. And now I'm going to fill in all the other areas with black and as I get to those highlight areas I take a dark gray pen or a marker to blend in the gray with the black. So it has a smooth gradation into the black to make the shading look more realistic and to make Venom look uh, a lot cooler than if I just shaded him with complete black. This adds to the tone of the battle as well because Luffy has a flaming fist therefore it's only natural that there's going to be light shining off Venom's body. Now onto Venom's mouth, we're keeping it nice and simple, not not too much going on here, just uh, some good old coloring with a base color of red and then slowly gradiating into a light pink. Uh, this is I think more red than an average person's tongue because it's Venom and also added some heavy shading for the tongue to look make him look a little more gross and a little more menacing. Brush your teeth, man! Now I'm using a gel pen to get, add some highlights to his hand because his hand has been colored complete black. I want 
uh, the audience to see each individual finger. And if you smudge the gel pen on a black surface or any surface at all, it can give it a little of a smooth highlight effect, which I really like. So a jelly, pen, jelly roll is definitely one of my cheat tools. And it can add this uh, really distinct bright highlights as well. And I also add a mucus effect on his mouth by smudging it. And now we're coloring Luffy, the one of the most iconic anime characters and one of the most loved. The reason why I picked Luffy to go up against Venom is because he has a similar color scheme to Spider-Man, which is red and blue. His shirt is red, his pants are blue. And yeah, that's why I picked him to go against Venom, and they're very different characters, which is what we try to go for uh, here at Danny's Battle Royale. And notice how when I color his skin, I use three different shades of skin tone. That way, it makes him look more cool, I guess, more diversity in color. And don't forget about the yellow highlight that I added to the skin because he's standing right next to a flaming object. Now I have to apologize because when I was coloring Luffy's jacket, uh, the, my camera turned off so you guys won't get to see that. Now adding in the background, you know, can't leave the background blank for such a cool battle scene gotta have a little bit of variety in the background so I chose to use Venom spider webs to make Luffy look really in trouble in this fight and just big big lines of black won't work I gotta add the slight little details to show the spiderness of those spider webs and to make the scene look a little more immersive and realistic also adding a little bit of highlights to those spider webs <laughs> looks pretty nice now we're adding in a background color of gray and then slowly gradiating into the white because Venom is a very dark character so I definitely want to give him props for that so I'll give him a little bit of darkness but Luffy is also a very bright character so I'll give him light. Okay ladies and gentlemen, it has been complete Venom vs Luffy. I had a ton of fun drawing this project and I really like how it turned out too. Definitely like the intensity it shows in the characters poses. And yeah, I had a ton of fun and I hope I can do this again. Um, who won and who lost, I'll let you guys decide on your own. But you know what else? I'll let you guys decide. The next Danny's Battle Royale. So, leave a comment if you would like to see uh, two other characters do kill on paper. You know, write down their names and I'll see if I can get to it. But until then, like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.